It's actually really easy to make your own fliparamas. All you need is a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. Now in order to do a fliparama, you first have to fold the paper in half. Now we're going to draw two pictures on this paper. So we'll open it up and we're going to draw our first picture on the inside. There's my pen. And let's see. We'll draw a character from Ook and Gluck. Let's draw Ook because he's the easiest to draw. Okay, there's his face. Draw some hair there. Okay, now we'll put a club here. Now, one thing to keep in mind with fliparamas is that the best type of fliparama is something that has a one-two action. Now, one-two action is like a thing that goes back and forth, back and forth. Like, um, like kicking is good, punching is good, getting knocked in the head, that's always fun. However, if you're a kid, I want to warn you that grown-ups don't like it when you draw pictures of two people beating each other up. I don't, I don't know why that is, but they don't like it. So I gotta warn you, if you do things like this, you might make grown-ups pretty concerned. You you could win yourself a one-way ticket to the counselor's office. So here's here's how you get around that. Just make one of the characters a robot or a monster. For some reason, grown-ups don't care if you beat up robots and monsters. That's it's okay with them. I don't understand it. That's just how it goes. So all right, we got our got our robot here. Okay, this is the before picture. Okay, Ook standing here with the club, and here's before. Now we're going to draw the after picture. So we fold the paper over. Now, normally, with just about any kind of paper, you'll still be able to see the drawing underneath. But because this is a film and we have a bunch of bright lights, I'm going to turn on my drawing table. Now we have a light shining underneath so we can see. Because we need to do some tracing here. Now the thing to remember is that when you're doing fliparamas, if you don't want something to move, you've got to trace it. I don't want the floor to move here, so I'm going to trace the floor. And I don't want Ook's feet to move. I'll trace Ook's feet. And I don't want the robot's feet to move, so I'm going to trace those two. There we go. Now, I think it might be cool if Ook's knees move, so here we go. We'll just make them like that. Now, remember that everything that you draw that's not traced, that's going to be animated when you flip the page back and forth. So his arm, let's make that bend. We'll have him smile in here so his mouth opens and closes. Take his tooth there. I'll take his tooth out. So, put the hair here. Okay, we'll kind of mess that up, but it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Now, the biggest action here is that Ook's arm and his club, they're going down like that. They're going from the top to the bottom, and they're hitting this robot in the head. So let's just make his mouth right where it is. We'll trace that, and we'll trace his body, because it really doesn't need to move, actually. But I do want his arms to move, so that'll look cool. So put his arms up here like that. Okay. Draw that. Now, oh, you know what looks cool is wobbly legs. So we'll give them, we'll give them wobbly legs. That look awesome. There we go. There. Fill that in. Okay. Now you notice that the most of the action goes from top to bottom. So we'll do some little action lines here. That always looks nice. And we'll do some impact lines. Okay. Now we pretty much have it done. So all you gotta do. Let's turn the light off here. All you got to do is hold it on the side, like that, and then you open it up and flip. And hey, look at that. Now that's some serious head injuries right there. That's good stuff. So anyways, you can do this on your own. Super easy.